Hi guys and welcome to another video. Before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, please remember to subscribe and like this video if it helped you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove an image from Google Image Search. You'll be able to remove a social media image slash picture or update an old one on the Google Image Search engine. This will also work for a website you own or any website for that matter that has had its content changed or removed. Now the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to this website here www.google.com slash webmasters slash tools slash removals. You don't actually need the rest of the URL so I'm just going to delete it here and refresh the page. Once you've navigated to this URL, you'll be greeted with the sign in page by Google. Here you'll need to log into your Google account. If you do not have a Google account, I'll put a link in the description to one of my videos of how to create a Google account. Great, so you've created your Google account and you've signed in. Now you'll be greeted with this page which is on the Google Search Console and it is to remove outdated content where you'll be required to paste in the image that you want removed into this box here and then click request removal. So that's exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to open up a new tab here, which I already have created. I'm just going to left click on it and it is Google Images. Now the URL is as follows. It's www.images.google.com. Okay, once you're here, you'll need to locate the image or picture that you want removed from Google Image Search. So what I'm going to do here is search my channel name, which is Websplaining and then I'm going to hit enter. We are going to be dealing with two images today. The first image is going to be this one here, which is the WSG logo here, which was on my social media platform called Vimeo, which no longer exists anymore because I took Vimeo down. The second one will be on my personal website, which is this logo here, which is on websplaining.com, and I've actually updated the logo on this website here. So let's deal with it one at a time. So the first one that we're going to be dealing with is this one here, this WSG. So what you want to do is you want to left click on it, and then I'm also just going to show you it, just to show you how it currently looks like on the web. So I'm just going to right click here, and then I'm going to go open link in a new tab. And then I'm just going to left click this new tab here just to show you the logo it doesn't exist anymore because I've deleted my Vimeo video channel. And there you have it. The WSG logo is currently not on this web page. So I'm just going to close out of this now. So to get the image URL, you simply need to right click on the image here. And then what you want to do is you want to copy the link address. Left click to do so. And then what we want to do is go back to the search console here on the other tab, left click. And then what you want to do is left click again in this box and right click paste. And then all you need to do is hit request removal. Google will analyze the URL and it will say this content is no longer live on the website, which is true. And we're just going to hit request removal. And as you can see, you get this nice pop-up here that says, thank you for your submission. We have received your removal request. The status of your request will be updated once we process the request. And I'm just gonna simply hit okay. And as you can see on the bottom here, we have the social media URL that we want removed, which used to contain the image. The status is pending. The removal type is outdated page removal and the request date is today. And you can cancel this request if you want. Okay, so we've submitted one for removal. Let's go back to the other tab here, which is our Google image search. So we have successfully submitted the request for removal for this image here, which is the first one. Now we're going to move on to this one here. So again, what you need to do is left click on it. And I'm just going to show you again how the website which contains this logo currently looks like. So I'm just going to right click here and I'm gonna go open link in a new tab. Then I'm going to left click here just to show you again. And as you can see, the logo is no longer reddish. It is in fact gray. And this is what we want removed on the Google image search. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the tab here, which is the Google image search, left click. And then exactly like we did the first time around, we're going to right click and we're going to go copy link address. And then we're going to go back to the search console. And again, you're going to click this text box, you're going to right click and you're going to paste the URL. 
Then you're just going to hit the red box here, which is request removal. Google will analyze your link. And there we go. Google will ask you the URL you want to remove is websplaining.com. We think the web page you are trying to remove hasn't been removed by the site owner, which is correct. The website is still live. However, the image has changed. And then you get this message in bold here, which says, has the web page been updated? or removed at the source website, you're going to hit yes, because the logo has indeed changed on our case. I'm going to hit next. And now you'll have two further options to choose from. The first option is that the Google cache is actually outdated. And the second option is that the entire page or image has been removed. What we're going to be selecting is the option that the Google cache is outdated because the image currently displayed is in fact the old image and it is not true that the entire page has been removed nor has the actual image been removed it has simply been replaced by another so we're going to keep it the first option checked and then we're going to hit next you are now brought here and asked to enter a word that no longer appears on the live web page but appears in the cached version. In our case it's an image that we want removed and the easiest way is to get the format of the image that you want removed from the Google image search. So we're going to go back to the Google image search tab here and we're going to right click on our image and we're going to copy our image address. Left click on it, open up a new tab and paste the link and hit enter. At the top here, you can see it says data, colon, image, slash, JPEG. So in our case, we're going to copy the format here. So in your case, it could be JPEG, it could be PNG, and it could be other formats too, but usually it's either JPEG or PNG. Okay, once you've got your image format, you want to go back to the search console here, which is the first tab for me, and you'll want to just paste in the word JPEG. Now hit request removal you'll get the generic thank you for your submission notification like our first submission and hit OK. Your page will automatically refresh. As you can see on the bottom here, we have our website's URL, status is pending, removal type in this case is changed content and the request state. So as you can see, we have an example for a social media removal of the complete page. And we also have a personal website removal where the content has indeed changed. All right, guys, so we've made our submissions and now we just have to simply wait for Google to get around to dealing with these submission requests. I'll get back to you and I'll put a timestamp probably in the description of how long it took for Google to get back to us. See you in a bit, guys. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 hours. I've refreshed the page, and as you can see, the Vimeo image is still pending, and the removal type is outdated page removal. However, we have a conclusion on our personal website's image, and that status has changed from pending to denied, and the removal type is changed content. Now, the reason for the denial is most likely due to the fact that we entered the wrong word that no longer appears on the live website. So to fix this, what we'll need to do is copy our Google image search link once again for that image, which is on the second tab for me. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to copy link address. I'm going to go back to the search console here. And I'm going to paste in the link. I'm going to hit enter. And once again, let's go through the motions here. You're going to hit next and you're going to keep the first option and you're going to hit next again. And now you're brought to this area once again, where you're asked to enter a word that no longer appears on the live web page, but appears in the cached version. This time we're going to go with the actual image name. So what we're going to do is go back to the Google image search for that image. You're going to right click on the image and you're going to go open image in a new tab. You'll generate another tab containing only that image, which is the third tab here now. Left click on it. And again, previously we copied the JPEG formatting. This time we're just going to copy the actual image name, which in our case, if you hover over the tab itself, is 2Q equals equals. And then in brackets, you actually have the image dimensions. We will only go with the image name, which is 2Q equals equals. Now you need to make sure that the capitalization is taken note of. Once done, go back to the first tab, which contains the Google image search, and you'll want to enter the name of your image. So in my case, once again, it's 2Q equals equals. 
and you're going to hit request removal. You'll get a confirmation once again from Google and you'll hit OK. It will refresh and then you'll have another request for removal for that particular image. All right, guys, I'll be back with you once we've got an update for the two remaining pending statuses. All right, guys, it's been about two hours since the last refresh. And as you can see, we have a couple of status changes. You can see that the Vimeo social media image has been removed. And in fact, the second request for our personal website's image has been denied. And this denial may be due to the fact that we need to include the directory URL of our image. Now to do this, you'll simply need to go back to your Google image search and click on this link here. So left click on it. And then once you're on your personal website and you're simply going to right click over your new image and copy the image address. And then you're gonna go back to your Google search console and paste in the URL. Now you need to remember that the image URL you just copied is in fact the new one and you need to replace it with the old image URL. Now I know the image name and you should too if you own your website. So as you can see the current image URL is called 8w Dot PNG, we're going to change the 8w to the old image name to form the old image URL. So in my case, this was before WSG. And now hit request removal. Google will analyze your URL and it will say this content is no longer live on the website and hit request removal. You'll get the usual submission that we've got a few times now and then you just simply hit OK. And as you can see, the image wsg.png is pending removal. I'll be back to you once again once the status has changed and hopefully with the successful removal of this image from Google Image Search. All right, guys, so I've just refreshed the page and as you can see, we have a status change for the wsg.png image from websplaining.com. The status has changed from pending to removed. Great, congratulations guys, another image has been removed and that concludes the video. I have shown you how to remove an image from a social media platform such as Vimeo. This will also work for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. And from your own personal website, in my case, my own personal domain name, which is websplaining.com that I have full control over. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please remember to give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really does support the channel and help me grow on YouTube. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Why is it so hard to live?